Draining the ocean away in Fallout 4 has brought an opportunity for us to see quite a few areas that normally are underwater or the water makes it quite difficult to spot little uh, little scenes like this. This fellow with some Instamash yum yum deviled eggs and a wee can is uh, just chilling in one of the nearby storm drains. Was it a local hobo or something of that degree? It's hard to tell but we are east of Poseidon Energy and west of the FMS Northern Star. You know the one with the Norwegian ghouls? Yeah that one. And near the Warwick homestead. Now in terms of other unmarked locations the Quincy Lighthouse would have been our next visit but I never really took note of the storm drains here and uh, well that was a mistake on my part because of course finding some food just whilst you're out in the area is a pretty cool deal and uh, without the water makes it uh, slightly easier. Of course these drains were for storm surges and uh, just general uh, water sort of water maintenance that's probably not the right word you know maintaining maintaining water levels uh, is definitely what these would have been for uh, there's three of them in total uh, that other one obviously has some blood leaf the other two are uh, more blocked up like this one where uh, you see they actually still have the uh, the grates in it now in terms of why the other two don't have grates uh, hmm I'm actually wondering, that. that's probably a good question. I would say just over time they were maybe removed. Perhaps they didn't have any grates or filters and it was just mainly, you know, for getting larger volumes of water in and out. That is, again, another possibility. As for the Quincy Lighthouse, we'll be venturing over to it next. Again, containing a really good stash of items. And then after that, we'll be going over to a little survivalist over yonder. It's so strange with the water drained, isn't it? Anyways, hope you're enjoying the... <laughs> oh, Fallout, you never cease to amaze me. Heggy Rochin, see you in the next one.